Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Gabriel the Mensch here, and I was scrolling through Instagram, like you guys know, if you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram. So I was, I was scrolling through my Instagram feed, and I saw a brand that I've worked with uh, before, Beckett Simonon posted a gorgeous pair of boots, and I knew I had to get my hands on them because in my opinion, they're a perfect blend between a dress boot and a casual boot. And I, I know from DMing you guys and just being in the in the world a little bit that everyone's jumping on the trend to wear those masculine boots, right? I don't have to name names, but Thursday boots, you know, Taft boots, they're all making rugged boots. And I think that no matter how rugged you are, even the most rugged guy who, let's say, swears by wearing Red Wings every single day is going to need to get dressed up at some point, right? Maybe a date, a dinner, a wedding. Some, the guys are gonna have to get dressed up and wear um, a nice pair of shoes. And I think a great way to balance the rugged world of boots with a dress shoe is right here with these Beckett Simon boots. Boom, check it out. But also, if you wanna buy these boots or maybe you have other shoes that you need from Beckett Simonon, use my link that I'm gonna give in the description. You could also use a code that I got, Mensch20, but I think that's the same as they offer to new subscribers to their like newsletter for 20% off. So it would really help me out and help support the channel if you use my link below. Now let's get right into why I think this is the best hybrid between a dress boot and a casual boot. So let's start with the most obvious is that beautiful mock toe design. So it, it's kind of reminiscent of more rugged boots like a Red Wing mock toe or something like that. Um, to me, a lot of, it also reminded me of the Alden Indies, which have become a cult classic. Of course, Indiana Jones wore those uh, Alden Indies um, in the movies. So the, one, the reason why I like this one so much is because not only does it harken back to a, a more casual boot, a work boot, but this one is actually raised up, whereas the Alden Indies or some other um, boots with mock toes, it's not a raised mock toe, it's just a decorative mock toe. So this one actually looks like a real authentic mock toe stitching, which I love. The second thing is the welt. So if you look at the welt where the sole is stitched on with Blake's, Blake's stitch construction, um, the outer edge actually protrudes a lot. And it's a nice, thick, chunky, masculine welt, which I think gives an, a, a bigger impression. It gives that nice, chunky look, that rugged look that you're gonna get with a lot more casual boots, but yet it's nicely packaged in this dress boot design. Usually dress boots will have, um, with Blake stitching, they'll have a very thin and flexible sole that's very close to the actual leather of the shoe. But this one you can see on more casual boots, I've seen on like Iron Rangers, for example, but a ton of other casual boots, they have this nice, thick, chunky um, welt that sticks out and again, gives that bigger impression for the sole. And also check out these beautiful brass colored speed hooks. Now, my Iron Rangers and my Blacksmiths have the same look in speed hooks and I, it's a necessity for me just because it makes it so much easier to take on and take off. But again, that gives that really nice, rugged aesthetic that I'm looking for in all my boots. So even with all those rugged characteristics, I wanna stress that this is definitely a dress boot. And the number one reason why is because it's got this nice calfskin leather, which I actually have on a lot of dress shoes, like my Allen Edmonds actually looks almost identical in color to my Allen Edmonds loafers. And it's got other things too. It's got this nice leather sole, which is always found on a good pair of dress shoes. Actually has a nice leather smell to it. Um, it's got glove lining, which is what you wanna see, um, right? Where as, as my Iron Rangers and stuff, those are unlined, those boots. So this one's lined. And it even has like piping around the edges um, of the vamp where you, where you lace them up. So again, it's got those just those little details that definitely make this a dress boot. And there's just two other things I wanna mention. The first thing is the fit of the shoe. So I don't know what last they're using. I know Red Wing likes to number their lasts, but whatever last they're using is perfect. It fits and hugs my foot perfectly on the heel. And it actually opens up um, around the front of the shoe that gives me just enough room where it's snug, but it also is very comfortable to wear. And um, I think it's something that, that for me, I've had other really expensive boots and I'm telling you, I opt for these just because of how comfortable they are. From a side profile, they're super sleek and dressy, um, but yet, for, I know when I wear them overhead and you're looking down at them, they have a nice, wide, and very generous, honestly, proportions where it fits your foot um, snugly, but very comfortable. The second thing I wanted to mention is the price. And you know the mensch, I've gotta have a good value, I gotta get a good deal. And I know that I don't want to name drop the other brands out there, but some of the dress boots that are similar in construction and similar quality can be upwards of $300. And these, after the discount, uh, come to $175, which is a great deal. And don't mistake these boots just because the price is affordable for cheap boots, okay? Because the only reason they're charging um, this price is because they make the boots made to order. They don't have to order a huge um, you know, bulk order to get the price down. The way it works is that they just pre-order um, based on how many people support a, a campaign, a limited campaign on their website, and they order that exact amount of boots. 
Don't worry, they still offer uh, free shipping and free returns both ways in case they don't fit. And they do order a little extra of each size so you can exchange for a smaller size, which is awesome. But do not mistake this for cheap, but this is a great quality boot, which is awesome. And I definitely think that they're worth a try. And I'm, I'm not trying to be cocky guys, but I own a lot of boots and I'm only making this video. They're not paying me because I really do think that this is the best value out there for a rugged but dressy boot. All right, guys, so that's gonna wrap it up. By the way, I forgot to mention, this is called the Gallagher boot. And it's my favorite choice, like I said, for a rugged but dressy boot. So let me know in the comments below if you have any other recommendations, any other alternatives. If you have the Gallagher, what you guys think of them. And always like and subscribe. Let me know I should review next. And I'll see you guys later.